All right, well, I don't think that it is covered under First Amendment rights because uh, it's obscene. No, obscene. no, 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 it is covered. It is covered. It is covered. It is. Well, that could be debate for court to figure out, maybe. Right? Okay. So, um, we're going to ask you to leave here. But you have a supervisor. Get your supervisor. If you're acting in an official capacity, you do have to ID if you're acting I'm in an official capacity. You to leave here. You're asking me to leave. That's not a lawful order. Okay, Karen, I'm done talking to you. I have no decency. I have free speech. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the San Joaquin Podcast channel. This is Nick filling in today. You might recognize me from my channel, San Joaquin Audits. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go over there and subscribe right now. There are a couple channels out there that make life better for the rest of us. Not only for their contribution to free speech, but by their ability to entertain us. Channels like Professional Douche and Mr. Porter test the boundaries of how far we can go with free speech, even if that means offending some people. In this video, you're going to see Mr. Porter refuse to show ID to tyrant police officers threatening to arrest them for free speech. After that, he's immediately approached by a Karen. You're not going to want to miss it. Let's watch. Good, how you doing? What are you doing? I'm protesting the governor with my opinion. This is my political opinion. It's a common statement. To state this doesn't mean a sex act or a proposition for a sex act. It means exactly what it says. It's a derogatory term to express displeasure with a political figure. Okay. I'm redressing grievances I have with the, with the governor, which is guaranteed under the Constitution, First Amendment, right to petition, right to redress grievances, and right to complain and file a complaint. Okay. This is my version of that, and I'm within my rights. It's already been reviewed by many, many, many state's attorneys for the past six weeks. Is that right? Yep. Like, um, who? I'm not going to tell you, because then you're going to call them and try and ID me. All right, well, I don't think that it is covered under First Amendment rights because uh, it's obscene. There's no, 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 it is covered. It is covered. It is covered. It is. It is. Well, that could be debate for court to figure out, maybe. Right? Okay. So, um, we're going to ask you to leave here. You're going to ask me to leave? I'm ask you to leave here. You're asking. Because I'm not telling me. Why don't you get your I'm superior out here? I am the superior. Of what? I think that this you have to have a boss. Everyone has a boss. Is offensive? It is offensive. And it's it's how I get my First Amendment free speech point across. Indecent? It's not indecent. And I don't think it's covered under First Amendment. It is. Right. It is covered under First Amendment, sir. Right, you need I'm to get someone above you to review I'm, this. I'm going to tell you what. You need to leave with the sign. And if you don't leave with the sign, we're probably going to be placing you under arrest. For what? For trespassing. I'm not you trespassing. I'm on a public sidewalk. I'm allowed to be here. This is part of the state house. This is part of the state grounds. Okay, I'm going to walk across the street to the yeah. other sidewalk. I need so. to take your sign and go. I'm going to go that's over that's here your, to... A, it's a public sidewalk. Point. It's a public sidewalk. This is a public sidewalk. This is a public sidewalk. You just said I could stand here and it's not trespassing. I didn't do anything wrong. Okay, well, who's your supervisor? Because I have First Amendment rights and you're violating them. I don't have to tell you who I am. But you have a supervisor. Get your supervisor. If you're acting in an official capacity, you do have to ID if you're acting in an official capacity. You're asking me to leave. That's not a lawful order. You're asking me to leave. I'm, I'm refusing your polite ask. If it was a lawful order and you were, you said I'm going to violate your rights, well, you I'm know, ordering uh, you away, you then Ocean I will. City last week? You down Ocean City a couple weeks ago? You? I'm not making any statements to you because you're being very hostile against my free speech. I'm not being hostile at all. I'm just asking you to leave because it's very offensive. Did you guys hear that? He said it's very offensive. That means his feelings are hurt. That is precisely the problem that is going on in America, folks. Police officers are not out there enforcing laws. They're out there enforcing feelings. How are we ever going to stop this? Give me some ideas in the comments section. Uh, look, you, it's not your job to de decide what's offensive, sir. You're right. It's up to the court to decide that. Uh, free speech is protected. Is. Political free speech is I'm protected. Asking you to you're asking me. You're way. you're asking nicely. Yes. Okay. Have a nice day. There's kids everywhere, so don't do the whole kids argument, please. It's a free country. It's a free country. Okay, Karen, I'm done talking to you. I have no decency. I have free speech. 
How did I slander you? Your name's not on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know your name. I, I mean, except for Karen. So would you, I'm just going to ask a question. No. If he came out and actually took you up on your offer, would you accept it? Absolutely not. Oh, okay. It's a derogatory slur. Oh, well. It's not, it's not a proposition. It's a slur. All right, and that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Before I go, I want to say one thing. Most people don't have the gall to say what they really mean for fear of how it might offend others. Mr. Porter states it perfectly in this video when he says, I don't have decency, I have free speech. It takes a certain type of individual to state what he really feels. And for that, I thank you, Mr. Porter, for continuing to flex your rights. Be sure to go over to Mr. Porter, subscribe, and let him know San Joaquin sent you. And remember, always film the police.